It's no secret that the Opium label ran by none other than Playboy Cardi is tearing up the underground scene at this point in time. At one point, everybody and their mama wanted to be a Slay World soldier, but now everybody and their auntie wants to be Opium. It's been a long two years coming for this Atlanta-based underground label. We know of Ken Carson, we know of Destroy Lonely, and now there is two newcomers, the Homicide Gang. They just released their project a few weeks ago, and their sound is very similar to that of Playboy Cardi when it comes to the ad-libs and things of that nature. One thing is for sure with this Opium label. This is a strictly mosh pit, rage-induced, type of sound this is not your lyrical type of rap this is not no j cole ybn corday none of that okay this is straight rage and get hype type of music straight bangers for the young kids but what if i told you this opium label has a deep dark secret that nobody seems to be paying attention to All right, for me to actually get you guys to understand this whole entire video, I'm gonna have to break this down as simple as possible, all right? So it all starts with this guy right here. I think you guys know who this is. But for the people that are just dumb, this is Cardi, okay? This is Playboy Cardi, man. This is where the Opium label begins and pretty much where it ends. But before we get into Opium, let's talk about Cardi, okay? Now, pretty much y'all should already know Cardi is an underground legend, but you guys know what I mean when I say that. We all know about Cardi, bro. He grinded from like 2014 or something to where he's at right now. Now, Playboy Cardi's come up is still very questionable. Nobody quite knows exactly how or why he has such a crazy fan base. Some would say it's because of his simplistic rap flow and his beat selection, but others would say it's because of his mysteriousness and the fact that he doesn't drop as often as a lot of mainstream artists out there. All right, now that we got Cardi's bio pretty much out the way let's talk about whole lot of red okay now whole lot of red dropped december 25th christmas day 2020 now leading up to this album release we saw a different side of cardi all year round i'm talking from when he dropped at me in april of 2020 all the way until the end of the year it was very clear that this was no longer cash cardi from 2017 not only was he dressing different more flamboyant, more feminine attire, if you want to say that. He also had red dreadlocks. And very often you would see Cardi promoting demonic symbolism in his Instagram photos. I'm talking upside down crosses. I'm talking pentagrams. Now to the average person out there, this might not offend them. But to a lot of people, it did. A whole bunch of people were starting to speculate that Cardi had sold his soul for this level of fame. And to be honest, they were right. Y'all remember when Lil Uzi Vert came on the scene with a whole bunch of upside down crosses on his chain? A lot of people were up in arms about that back in 2017. But it appears to me that the general public has been desensitized to this type of imagery. Now a lot of y'all are young, so you might not know exactly what it takes to become a huge celebrity and rapper and just world famous in general. I mean, just ask Cardi's hairstylist who exposed him about a year ago. Fucking the one dude off. Then he sucked the other dude off. Then he sucked the other dude off. Now they Vaseline him up and pop him in his ass. And you're probably saying that's bullshit. That's the way that shit goes. And then what they do, they videotape the shit. Why, why, why would they want to videotape that? Y'all say to sell it later now to keep your mouth closed. Now, I'm not trying to make this whole video bashing on Cardi or anything like that. I'm just here to expose the truth, okay? Whether you believe it or not that Cardi sold his soul, I don't really want to get into that right now. I could make a whole nother video if y'all want me to. But let's get back to it, okay? So Playboy Cardi is signed to Interscope Records. Now, if you don't know what Interscope Records is, then you just got to be dumb, bro. Interscope Records is probably one of the biggest labels 
in America, maybe even in the world. I'm not quite sure. But they got a lot of big names signed to Interscope. Now, every upcoming young artist out there, even if you're a band lab rapper, you should know that if you deal with a record label, they got a lot of funny business going on because the music industry is, quite frankly, a very shady business. I don't want to get into the details, but these people don't care about the artists for real. They care about their money. They care about selling records basically that's what a record label is for and the same rules apply for playboy cardi now that we've established that he is signed to interscope records you guys should know he is a product of that label do you really think that they're just not gonna control him if they want to sell records they know how big his fan base is do you really believe for a second that playboy cardi came up with the vampire aesthetic by himself you guys really believe that for a second hey if you guys still do believe that I'm going to show you a clip from a couple years back with Young Thug meeting with his record label executives. And this is just how it goes, bro. This is how these meetings low-key play out. I understand that you're shy and you don't like doing it. But the fact of the matter is your fans actually want to hear from you. Yeah, but we're, we're not going to do that. I don't need to. Yeah, we do. Because we still want him to be, like, have a mystique about him. Yes. Yeah. Still want him to be like, well, I don't want everybody just to know. We, we, oh, we know. No, no. You're going to keep them guessing, but we're going to take advantage of the fact that they have huge listenership, and we're going to communicate to them that Slime Season yes, 3 is about to come, and then High Tunes is about to come. This year, I want 10 number one singles. 10? If you don't freestyle, and you actually work on the singles, and record great choruses, and develop your songs, yes. You you just record so many songs and leave them like little orphans out there, okay? Yeah. You have to come back to them. No, I don't. And yes, you no. do. Hell no. You got the credits come back to them. So that's basically just an example. That was Young Thug meeting with executive named Liar Cohen. I don't know if you guys know who Liar Cohen is, but he was, I believe, the head of 300 Entertainment back in the day and all that other good stuff. But basically, man, these artists don't have a say in their image. So if Cardi is asked to look like and dress like a vampire or look like and dress like a clown, like a scary clown with face paint on his face, that's what he has to do. That's what he has to do, bro. It's all about selling records. It's all about publicity in this record label music industry business. All right. Now, I'm kind of going off track, off topic. I'm trying to get y'all boys to realize something, okay? I'm basically just trying to show y'all, bro, Cardi is a product of this record label. And if you guys don't know Interscope, Interscope is probably one of the most demonic, satanic music record labels in the freaking country, in the world, maybe, okay? But again, I don't really want to get into it too much. But basically, man, back to Opium. Now, Opium is Playboy Cardi's. It's probably, it's a sub label. I feel like it's like a smaller label under Interscope, which is Playboy Cardi's label. So when it comes to Opium, the same things that Playboy Cardi is asked to do, he is going to ask his signees like Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, and Homicide Gang to do as well. This includes rocking an upside down cross chain. You got, I know you guys see the upside down cross chain everywhere on these dudes. They even rapping it in their lyrics. To summarize the rest of this video, I just want to say something, okay? I know not everybody believes in the Bible. I know that everybody believes in God, Jesus, anything of that nature. But when your favorite artists are out here rocking upside down crosses with pentagrams and all other types of demonic imagery, is it safe to say that these guys don't believe in Jesus? Is that what we're saying? If they didn't believe in God, the devil, anything of that nature, why would they even be entertaining this stuff? Why would Cardi be out here with horns on his head in a live performance? If you don't believe in this stuff, why is your whole merch designed and tailored around the whole aesthetic of God, Jesus, the devil? Think about it, y'all. Think about it for a second, bro. I mean, I don't believe in freaking Harry Potter. You don't you don't see me dissing Harry Potter for no reason. You feel me? 
if you don't believe in something, you don't even entertain it, bro. That's that's all I know in my personal, you know, experience. If I don't believe in something, why would I even put it in front of people's face? My thing is, I know Cardi knows about God, the devil, and all that other stuff. I know he does because he signed to one of the most wickedest record labels out there, bro. And this opium label is underneath Cardi. Basically underneath Interscope. It goes Interscope, Cardi, then opium label. So they're pushing the same values, y'all. And to think for a second that this doesn't have any importance in your life is actually sad because, bro, it's all in your face, bro. Why is this demonic imagery all in your face? It's because this stuff is very important in your life. They don't want to tell you that there's an afterlife after this life. They don't want to tell you that turning up and bumping that new Destroy Lonely is not going to get you into heaven. They don't want to tell you this stuff. But guess what, man? Tendious Underground is here to tell y'all, man. So that has been the dark side of the opium label. Everybody wants to be opium gang. Everybody wants to be, you know what I'm saying, 1017 Alex draped out. They want to rock their Rick Owens. But where will all that go when you're dead? Where will all that go when you're not in the presence of God? In the afterlife Just something for you guys to think about man Anyways though I'm out Peace